Thank you for joining us today on What's Up Prince William. Today we have Rose Powers, Executive Director for Streetlight Community Outreach Ministries and Joyce Anchman, Volunteer Extraordinaire. Thank you for being on our show today. Thank you for Thank having us. Thank you very us. much. We're glad to be here. Thank you. <laughs> so why don't you give me a, a, a brief overview of your organization. Okay, Streetlight Community Outreach Ministries is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We were established here in Woodbridge way back in 2004. Um, at the time we were an outreach ministry of the Vineyard Christian Fellowship so we actually started uh, reaching out uh, in early 1990s to the homeless. So we were established, I'm sorry I broke my train of thought, but it's we were established to help the poor and the homeless here in Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, throughout the years we have been all about feeding the hungry. We have an outreach dinner every Wednesday night to feed homeless adults, um, people who are living in the woods, plus uh, we have permanent supportive housing. We have 27 units currently for okay. homeless adults without children. We target the, the chronically homeless, uh, sometimes referred to as the literally homeless, people actually unsheltered. Uh, they can't get into the local shelters uh, because their, the capacity is full and also the local shelters do uh, they're oriented to serve families with children. So you have a, a, a project you're working on called the Hope Center. Yes. So would you give us a brief overview of the Hope Center? The Hope Center is a permanent supportive housing facility, affordable housing that we have envisioned for the chronically homeless population living here in Prince William County. Um, this will be a facility with 52 efficiency style apartments and we will have wraparound supportive services for our homeless clients. These will be intensive, this, we will provide intensive case management services. Uh, very often when people c have been living in the woods for a long period of time, they really need a, um, a additional support, they need a long time to reacclimate to, to mainstream society. So they need just a, a myriad of, of supports, uh, different different programs to meet individual needs. And uh, what is it that your organization needs to make this happen? Well, um, Hope Center, we, we were actually, Street Lives just blessed, just recently we received a, a donation of land from All Saints Church. Uh, this uh, issue has been very dear to their heart and they have generously offered to provide land for Streetlight to build the Hope Center facility. Now we are in the stage one of uh, this project, uh, phase one I should say, and um, what we really need is to raise money for the rezoning costs and the site plan which is needed to, in order to apply for Virginia State tax credits. Uh, to receive money to build this center. So uh, the rezoning and the site plan will cost approximately 200000 This involves legal fees, it involves uh, environmental studies, a land test, uh, this kind of thing. And um, so it, it costs quite a lot of money. And how can, uh, so people are wanting to help with this project to even, you know, to get it going. Uh, what uh, can they just go to your website to donate, or is there any particular place to actually be able to donate to the Hope Center? Yes, they can go to our website, and I mean, it, really, nothing is uh, too small. I mean, you just think, uh, in Prince William County, over 450,000 people live in Prince William County. If we had only a thousand people giving a hundred dollars, an average of a hundred dollars, we would have almost all the money we need. Uh, we already have a little bit of money to go towards this project, but we don't have enough. So that's what we're looking for, those individual donations or perhaps larger donations from corporate sponsors. That would be a real blessing for Streetlight. We would love to get this project underway as quickly as possible because there's people living out in the woods and they're dying. There's Many of the people that are med medically fragile living in the woods, many others are disabled. A good 60% are either medically fragile or disabled, and they are dying. So you were going to bring somebody in like this. Um, uh, how, would, how, would your, how would this place help them? To begin with, I, I think the idea of these individual 
efficiency apartments doesn't throw them right out there. You know, it's not group living as the norm is around here. Um, they'll have their own privacy and we're going to be right there to help them with whatever they need. Um, be their buddies and, and help them maneuver to get back to society. Some of them may live there forever because okay. of medical issues or whatever. But mm -hmm. We have a guy right now, um, we had him down at UVA in the hospital. He was in terrible pain, thought he had a hern hernia. Well, he does. But we got him to UVA because we couldn't find any specialists around here to help him and find, found out he's got a serious case of uh, cirrhosis of the liver. And his body keeps producing fluid to the point where it's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And he's on medications. We had to get him a bathroom scale so that he can weigh himself every day. And he's keeping a chart so the doctors know how to adjust the medication. But, you know, a bathroom scale on the floor of the woods doesn't measure very well. Right. And if, if he were, if we had Hope Center, we could take him in and he wouldn't be out there in this weather and mm -hmm. <sighs> so many needs. That's just one of, one of our guys, just one. You know, so you're looking at some possible, you know, some might be long term uh, uh, as far as, you know, bringing in, you know, the homeless, you know, what kind of turnaround, you know, what you, what you might see. I know it, you, each individual would be different. But do you have any kind of idea of, you know, whether it be like, this is a three month program. It doesn't really sound like it could be a three month, a nine month, a <coughs> five year. I mean, how, how do you think that might work? Well, permanent supportive housing is long term. So the average is three to five years. Okay. That's what we've seen in our scattered site housing. The reason why we want to build Hope Center and have it all under one roof is because there's a lot of clients that just, they cannot um, cope in a, in a um, unmonitored scattered site housing situation. Uh, at Hope Center, we will also have a nurse's station right on site for those who are medically fragile. We'll have a recovery program right on site for those who are, have alcohol or drug addiction issues. Uh, we will have 24-7 um, security. So everybody will, who lives there will feel safe. It'll be a safe place where they can live and begin to rebuild their lives. Um, yeah, so there will be a few, a handful of people that may have to live there for the rest of their lives just because they, of their, the nature of their disability or the fact that they are so medically fragile. So you talked about corporate sponsorships. How can they actually help with that? Well, we do need more co corporate sponsors. Uh, this, this is a community-wide um, effort. Uh, we need community support, and the corporations can help a great deal with the larger donations for uh, special projects, uh, such as the, um, with the rezoning. We have various tests that need to be done, and each of them are very expensive. So, say for an environmental study, this could be uh, over $10,000, $10,000-$15,000 easily. So this is where it really helps to have those corporate sponsors who can give a little bit extra uh, if they could step forward and, and donate towards this project. Well, the uh, Hope Center uh, is something that you know, is definitely needed here in Prince William County, and your organization does a, an excellent job already, and uh, can't wait to, to see this project. Basically, you literally get off the ground and, uh, and help more people in our community. Thank you very much for uh, being on our show today, and uh, thank you for joining us for What's Up Prince William.